The woman whose story gained national attention when it was believed she was missing in Alabama now admits she lied. The 25-year-old woman's disappearance on July 13th, sparking a costly search, the police chief there read a statement from Russell's attorney who has now admitted her story about being abducted and escaping captors was all a hoax. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. The volunteers who were searching for her, to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. A big mistake. Uh, Russell admitted to never leaving the area and that she acted alone. Her attorney will meet with police today. Authorities are considering potential criminal charges. News Nation Law and Justice contributor and retired FBI agent Jennifer Coffin Daffer is with us. Good morning to you, Jennifer. I know uh, she lied, clearly, but now what? Well, now what is she's going to face charges. I feel very confident of that. There were some clues actually given in the press conference, including them speaking about adding up the amount of money that was spent searching for her by local, state, and federal authorities. You can expect charges this week, I would believe. What kind of charges, especially in light of the fact that she's now made a confession, an admission that this was a hoax? I think it will be false statement charges. I think at maximum she will face a very short period uh, in jail or in prison. Uh, if it's over 12 months, it would be prison. If not, she could stay in a local jail. Uh, I don't think it will be, you know, that uh, horrific in terms of the amount of time she would be facing. But certainly she has to face charges because they need to deter this sort of action in the future. And then secondarily, she's done something against the law that cost uh, taxpayers a lot of money. Police are set to meet with her attorney today. Uh, do you believe they'll ever make public where she was while she was in hiding for those uh, hours that she was missing or believed to be missing? It's possible. I think law enforcement could track it and figure it out. Honestly, I just don't know how much more resources they're going to put into this. Uh, I think it was also a very big mistake that Carly didn't come out and read the statement herself. Mm. I understand she might not wanted to, you know, would not want to face media interviewing, but she certainly should have said it herself. I think that would have helped. It's so emotional because you see, you see in her parents do local and national television interviews, and they were convinced that she was fighting for her life, they said. Um, Crime Stoppers collected some donations from the public in the quest for searching for her. There were two large donations given back, uh, but the smaller donations, police are saying, won't be returned until the investigation is complete. But she confessed. So is this typical? No, I think those need to be returned quickly. However, the problem is, I think, with just administrative policy with Crime Stoppers, until an investigation is concluded, they're not going to return them. But I think those funds will be returned. I think it was wonderful, uh, the outpouring of uh, concern, of money, of time by local citizenry. And it's just such a slap in the face that this ended up being a colossal hoax. Yes, it was a uh, crying wolf by a woman who, again, jeopardizes the case of others who legitimately uh, are missing and their families are still looking for answers. I just want to ask you, since we had you, uh, the Idaho student murders, Brian Koberger's name back in the news again this week because he had until the end of Monday to submit an alibi. Do we know where that stands? Do you know if we'll get any details as far as that case goes? Well, we're not seeing that any alibi was submitted, although I will say the website where we can publicly glean this information has been a little bit sketchy in terms of going on and not being able to find the information. Uh, the Freedom of Information Act requests seem to be working. But in other words, it's kind of delayed in terms of seeing. But what we can see now there was no alibi submitted, and that's very significant, I think, uh, from the standpoint that, indeed, he didn't have one. Jennifer Coffin-Daffer, thank you as always. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.